I'm Ty Reichert and I'm on an adventure and you're riding shotgun. What's going on guys? Ty here from Redwood.Fish. I'm heading out to the coast to do some clamming and some fishing. There's a very low tide coming in about an hour. I'm getting a really late start because I had a busy work morning in the uh, middle of the day. So it works out perfectly because I'll be out at the coast in about 30 minutes and the, uh, the, the low tide is in about one hour. So I'm going to do some clamming and I'd also like to do a little surf fishing for perch. So join me on this adventure. It's going to be fun. We'll hopefully get some clams and maybe a fish or two. And we'll come back and do a catch and cook. But we can't do a catch and cook unless we catch. So first let's catch, then we'll cook. I just pulled over. I want to check out the tide pools right here. The tide's going out really quickly. Check it out. I want to look at that spot over there by that deep, deeper pool. Yeah, we'll go check it out. Let's go. Ever since I was a kid, visiting my grandmother's beach house in Morro Bay, California, I loved to explore tide pools. Let's go check out some tide pools. This wasn't exactly my plan for the day. However, when the tide goes out, and the ocean opens up a little bit and you can walk out a little ways and check things out it's always really fun let's check it out there's a lot of big mussels and some pretty deep pools i see little fish swimming around in here I wish I had a poke pole with me and try to catch an eel, but I don't. I have fishing poles and I left them in the car. I'm just going to do a quick exploration of this little area right here. A lot of times I'll be fishing from shore like this, and this is all underwater. And I cast out, not knowing what's down here. Unbeknownst to me, it's rocks and kelp and everything. My line will get snagged, my weight will get stuck down in these crevices and in these pockets. And you know, there's really nothing you can do. And there's no better way to lose your line than on mussels. Look at these guys. Look at this entire rock is covered right here. I see some starfish over there. So what we'll do is we'll walk over and get a better look at those guys. But you know, here's what the ocean looks like when the tide goes out. When the tide is high and you're fishing from those rocks over there and you're casting out, you don't realize what you're casting into. So next time you're rock fishing and you're wondering why you're getting snagged all the time, remember this video. <laughs> this is clearly what's going on. Oh, there's a really neat starfish over here. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> Look at this big guy. Oh, let me try to get out of the sunlight. cool that's awesome so cool all right look at this look at these mussels mussels are edible you can eat these guys however you need to call a hotline to find out if they're toxic they're tested frequently in the state of california and they'll tell you if they're toxic if their test results come back toxic don't eat them a couple weeks later they might be okay but it's very seasonal and it's unpredictable so it's not always safe to eat mussels. So do your homework before you eat them, right? Do your homework before you eat anything out of the ocean.
you can see the waves breaking through into this tide pool. These, this is pretty deep right here. I want to say it's like five, four or five feet deep. Uh, that wouldn't be a bad place to fish. There might be some decent rockfish down in here. Definitely. Definitely under this ledge here and down under here. Yeah, that's a good spot. Wondering if I can get over there and walk out that way. Let's check it out. I got to really keep an eye on the waves too because one big wave I'd be in huge trouble because I am not an easy ride back to the shore all right guys so I arrived at my fishing spot what I'm going to do is some surf fishing today going for some surf perch I've got a uh, like size 10 hooks on with a five ounce torpedo weight, which is not the ideal weight to be using right now because it's gonna roll in the surf a little bit. So let's try it out and see how it goes. I have soft plastics on. I've got red sandworms as my bait. I'll show you in just a second. And what we're gonna do is target perch. Perch is our target today, so. Let's give it a shot and see how it goes. So I had a couple bites the first few casts and then nothing since then. So I'm gonna keep fishing for a little bit. Check out where I had the camera sitting. <laughs> Look at all these muscles. Muscle rock. Well, no fish yet. I think I'll do one more cast and then I'll go do some clamming for steamer clams. So hopefully we'll catch some clams. What do you best win? He might win the best win. He might be Hey Mags, what'd you find? I found a little tiny crab. I think that's called a striped shore crab. Yeah. Can you tell me, is, is he a good guy or a bad guy? Good guy. We can't eat him, huh? Yeah, he's cute. We have to be really gentle with him. He's just a baby, right? What the Got the first clam of the day here. And the way we measure it is Dad, right here. Hold Dad, on, hold on. You, you, so if, it, if it doesn't fall through the hole, then it's more than an inch and a half and it's a keeper. This is a steamer clam, a big steamer clam. Nice one. First one of the day, woo -hoo. Yeet. All right, look at that. Nice clam. I'm using this little three-prong garden tool to dig through the sand and rocks and find these steamer clams. I think we have about 15 already and I need to measure them all to make sure they're inch and a half. Some of them might be a little under. Here's a nice one right here. Look at this guy. Wow. That's a big one right there. Cool. Oh, here's one. I want to show you what I did really quick. I did I did pretty good right here. I just found a bunch. They're not all legal, but I'm going to put them out and show you and then put them back, the ones that are not legal. So I worked around this rock here like this, and I found all these clams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven clams in that area. So what I'll do next is do this area right here working around the rock 
seems to be working really well. I think like seven of them are keepers out of 11, but we'll measure them up in a minute. The ones that are not keepers will go right back in the same spot and we'll cover it back up. One thing you always want to do is cover up your hole when you're done. Okay. All right, I'm going to put some water in the bucket, clean these guys up, and then measure them and only keep the ones that are one and a half inches or larger. That's the limit. This little five gallon uh, water tank works great for stuff like this. How's that working for you? I got a towel in the car too. Good job. Stop here. Dad! Hold on. Up here. Oh yeah, take it back. So some of these might be empty. I think they're all pretty close though. Okay, let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. 31. 31 clams. And the number's going to come down because we're going to measure them real quick. So let's do that. Okay. Keeper. I'll put the keepers on my left. Too small. Keepers on the left. Too small on the right. So we've got 5... 10, 15, 18, 18 keepers, and five, 10, 11, 12, 13, too small. So not bad. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take these guys and go put them back because they are under limit, or under size limit. And if you keep them, you get a big fine. I think I'll let them go by this rock and then some of them were over there. All right, so that's a wrap. Now we're gonna head home and cook these guys up. We'll see you at home in a minute. Well, not surprisingly, clamming is very tiring. So we got a bunch of clams that we're gonna cook up later. We came down to the beach to do a little beach fishing and Magnus has been playing for about a half hour. I think I'm gonna put the drone up. The rain is coming, so that's not good. But it'll be kind of fun to have the drone up. Megs, can you lay like this and say hi with me? I can't. Lay like this on I'm your tummy. No, lay wet. on your tummy and talk to the camera. <laughs> say hi, my name's Magnus. Hi, pee. Go like this. Say thumbs up. Thumbs up. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Don't turn it off. Oh, Magnus. You didn't think we were going to forget to put the drone up, did you? Let's roll to the drone footage right now. You are, it seems, a man of many skills. A rare combination. A great day today. We just got home. Maggie's sleeping. He's tired. I'm going to use a lot of garlic on this recipe. Okay, it's important to store your clams, fresh clams, uncooked clams in the fridge. They need to stay cold and what the best recommendation is to put a wet towel over them. Uh, that way they'll stay alive and they'll stay fresh. You do not want to submerge them in fresh water that will kill them. And you don't want them in warm temperatures either. That'll kill them too. Fresh clams that go bad can be very poisonous. So you have to be careful what you're eating. Really quickly, I wanted to show you this uh, knife that I got from Top Fort. 
Top Fort sponsors us. And I want to show you, it's a uh, bait knife. It's really nice too. Super excited about it. Check it out. So, yep, that's a pretty sharp bait knife. I use this guy to fillet some small fish to cut bait, cut line, do all kinds of stuff. It's got a nice, big, thick grip on it. Uh, I really like that. So anyways, yeah, shout out to Top Fort. You can find this on Amazon, and I put a link in the description below. You can buy this knife. It's relatively cheap. It's like under 20 bucks. Anyways, great fishing knife. Check it out. Good job, Top Fort. Adding the garlic. Just doing garlic clams tonight, garlic butter clams. I'm not cooking any pasta, so this will just be a little bite for the kids. Have some clams tonight, steamer clams. Next thing I'm gonna do is add some lemon juice. Next thing I'm gonna do is add about one cup of white wine. Yeah, a little bit more. That might've been more than a cup. Anyways, I'm using uh, Kendall Jackson Vintners Reserve Sauvignon Blanc. Now Easton's gonna put the clams in. Go ahead, E. All right, put the lid on. All right. Just for the record, I put pepper on those. That's not sand that you see. My kids were like, there's sand in there. That's not, I just sprinkled pepper on top of it. Anyways, we're gonna have a taste test. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of these guys. Put a Dad, let's butter. stand back. Put a little butter or garlic in it. Steamer clams. Oh, so good. One more thing to try. I toasted these little sourdough bites. You take them and you dip them down into that buttery sauce. Oh, sorry. 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 That is so delicious. Now I'm gonna hold the camera and you're gonna try it. Mm -hmm. Can I have a nut? Yeah, absolutely. Just take it out later. Grab a clam, rip the inside out, and eat it. There's no there's no sand out. No, uh -uh. nothing. Just Let's pull try. the whole inside out, Max. Which up? Here's Coop. Coop's gonna dip a little butter on there. Dip a dip the sauce. Dip the sauce. How is Whoa. it? That is so good, oh huh? Easton, what do you think? Whoa. Yeah, Whoa. I mean, butter goes a long way. Oh, but you're gonna have some toast? You're gonna have some toasty? Let me see. Toasties, right on. Anyway, so we're gonna eat the rest of these clams, or I better get one before I, before they're all gone. I poured a glass of Cabernet right there. I like reds, I don't like white wines. I know this is made for white wine, so I better hurry before Cooper eats them all, okay. I'll check back in a minute. Those are the best clams I ever had. Found it out. Cool. All right, that took about two seconds, and these guys devoured them. We saved a couple for my wife, Kiki, who came out, and she had some too. Uh, let's go through the quotes. Cooper says, Dad, best clams ever. Easton says, Dad, those were my most favorite clams ever. Can you please buy them again? <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh at that comment because we didn't buy these clams. Magnus and I went and worked really hard to get them. Anyways, uh, buying clams might be a good idea. As much work as it took to get these. Actually, it was about two hours. We got over 30 clams. There was about 17 or 18 keepers. It was really fun, and I, I'd like to go back and get more. Anyways, when you mix garlic with butter and white wine, and a little bit of onion and you cook it all together everything tastes good but yeah those were delicious clams steamer clams right from here in northern california catch clean and cook right here at home today they were caught today and cooked tonight i think i'll sit back and enjoy a nice glass of red wine i always love it when i get a good response from the family and they like the food i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like it hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, hit the notification bell. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free. You're just, you're just connecting to our channel so you get notified when new videos come out. I'm Ty Riker at the Redwood Fisherman. I love you guys. Peace out.
It's official. The dude is cold. Are we out of here? What are you gonna have for dinner? Clams. 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 Huh? Clams. Clams. Clams for dinner. Okay, we're out of here. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more, hit the notification bell. I'm Ty Reichert, the Redwood Fisherman. You can find us on YouTube. We have about 70 videos. We love to make these. We're family friendly. We, and we might teach you a little something about the environment. All right, pick up your trash. Be honest. Don't take more than you need. We'll see you next time. We are gone and peace out. If you do like this video, hit that subscribe button right here uh, or here. And that way you can stay in tune and follow our channel. Uh, it's free to subscribe. And basically what it's saying is, is that you will get updated when you'll get notified when a new video is posted so you can see our latest videos. Okay, right on. I'm Ty Reichert. I'm out.